What's up? It's Omar Power 88 out here in Las Vegas. We're here at the Ball Up Championship game. I'm here with Gilbert Arenas. Uh, what did you think of the game? I mean, it was great. I mean, a great atmosphere. You know, players played hard. I mean, it's, it's what you expect when you come to a basketball game. Right, right. You were the coach of the um, the, all, the the other team. Yeah. Like, yeah, and you guys actually wound up winning. Um, what do you think? How that look on your resume as a coach? <laughs> hey, right now it looks amazing because I'm yeah. the only person that's beat them, and I beat them twice this year. Oh, man, congratulations. And in a championship, you know what I'm saying? Championship, that's so what that, matters. Yeah, that's big. So what what differences do you see in the ball-up game or the street ball game compared to the NBA? You know, I mean, you know, right now it's more structure. Um, you know, in the NBA, I mean, it's not like you can play one-on-one -on -one basketball. Right. You know, but, you know, some of these guys could have made it. You know, they just probably took a wrong path, you know, in their in the basketball life. But, uh, you know, this 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 game gives them a, another opportunity of make up their losses. Right, right. What do you um, do? You think it has a niche to where ball up could like be successful for years and um, you know not get overshadowed by the NBA or whatever? Yes, of course. I mean, you know, it's not like and one used to be where it was just street ball carrying half the time. I mean, right. you see, yeah. you know, these guys are playing actual basketball. Right. You know, so you know they're in the, another league themselves. You know, they're above the globe trotters. you know, way far from and one. So, you know, the, the more people actually get to see is real basketball and not trick and not set up, you know, people will, will, will love it. Right, right. Okay. Um, two more questions. Who do you think is going to win the NBA championship this year? Ooh. Yeah, you know, that's rough. You know, right now, changes. Yeah, right now it is tough. You know, you can't say Indiana. Yeah. I mean, at this point, Spurs is, is, is leading. You know, you got Spurs. Right, right. What about um, Cleveland with all the trades, LeBron and um, – You know, it always takes when, when you have a group that comes together and they're powered, it always takes a year before they can gel, mm -hmm. you know, before they can gel the way they want. Um, right. You have to consider them because of the moves they're making, but San Antonio, Houston, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Houston, you know, Houston's out there. I, I don't see anybody, but it's, it's the West. You know, there's nobody in the East right now that can that's, – that's, that's built, you know, to win a championship. Right. Okay. Last question. Who do you think is the best player in the NBA right now? Like as of the end of last year? At the end of last year, uh, LeBron. Okay. Hands down. Why do you think so him over like um um what's KD? the Yeah, K over KD. You know, KD's a, KD's a scorer. You know, I mean, you can't knock that from him. You know, but when you think about it, you know, LeBron is overall. You know, but at the end of the day, he still averages 32. Yeah, yeah, he still scores too, you but you can't turn down 38 and 7, 38 and 8. You you, you can't knock those numbers. Right. I mean, you know when a player who plays point guard at 6, 8, 6, 9 and you're distributing, you're rebounding, you're playing D, it overtakes somebody who's just flat out scoring. 